hawk. Okay, Walter, today, what do we have? A tomato hornworm. Yes, and what do these things do? They eat earth tomato plants. Yeah, they love tomatoes. Um, I have found on the wiki page here that um, they do live all throughout the United States, Mexico. Um, they're a larval of the five-spotted hawk moth. This here is a very small larva. It seems to have a black horn, which they said later on distinguishes it from the equally destructive tobacco worm, which will apparently these will either wind up on tobacco or horn or on tomatoes. So um, here they say um, this here is a mature mature hornworm. Um, and this is the mature adults of a large moth. Um, my assessment earlier about fuzzy caterpillars wasn't exactly correct. But it, it is true in a lot of cases. But I guess there's exceptions. Although maybe I'm not quite as learned about this. But hey. They say the larva of this species can be distinguished um, by their lateral markings. Tomato hornworms have eight V-shaped white markings with no borders and dark blue or black horns. When I was looking at this one, this... Uh, hard to focus, but he looks to have a black horn. So this one probably is a... a um, a, this one probably is an actual tomato hornworm. Apparently the two species are very closely related. Um, if it's a tobacco hornworm, have seven white diagonal lines with a black border and red horns. Now I've seen red horns on some of the plant worms on my plants and um, I'm thinking maybe I've had both. I've seen these moths before and I have never realized they were uh, the parent of the hornworm. So I guess from now on I see one of these suckers. I'm gonna, it's gonna be underfoot. They are a major garden pest. And they devastate tomato plants. It's, I mean, I, I've seen it. My tomatoes are just completely destroyed by these things. And they're voracious eaters. And if you step on them, don't let them, make sure they're completely under your foot. My grandfather got shot in the face by one one time because a little bit of it stuck out like a toothpaste tube. What else? Is there anything you want to add, Walter? Um, that, that if you never knew that you uh, keep the, if you ever step on one of these, keep them under his foot. foot, foot. Well, right now my son's copying me, but... Okay, but make sure they're dead. Yeah, the idea is to make sure they're dead. Um... I, I a lot of times in the past I've kept cichlids, especially Oscars, and they seem to quite enjoy these things. They even fight over them, and quite amusing to for such a devastating pest. Um, all this information I have found about the tomato hornworm is um, is uh, most of this information is some of this information is what I've learned from friends and family. Uh, other parts of this information is. Well, the rest of this information is uh, thanks to Wiki, uh, the Wiki, Wikipedia. Um, thank you, Wikipedia, for this, uh, for the information about this critter. This, this uh, well, you can see, very, very small. And he is going to meet with a um, untimely demise. It looks like he's already trying to consume the leaf I've picked him on. But he was pale green compared to the rest of the rest of it, as you can see, and that's how I spotted him. A lot of times these guys can be really hard to find because it looks like as they get older. Um, let me see. He looks like he's about tomato colored here. And then here he looks like he's uh, easy to spot. 
you can see the color difference. So if you can get them at this stage, it's better. I think after a certain point, you might be past the point of no return, shall we say, because this is a rather large caterpillar, three to four inches, I'd say. It, that's what kind of four inches it says here. Um, big, big caterpillar, and it would need a lot of time to develop. So if you can get a lot of them early on and keep all over them for a while, I think the moth might just give up. I could be wrong. Um, let's see what other information in the range. Food plants. Okay, let's see. It says here food plants. Oh, I gotta watch my egg eggplants too, I guess. Feeding on tomato, eggplant, peppers. Wow. Uh, tobacco, moonflowers. I'm not sure what that is. And potato. I know what moonflowers are. Oh, you heard of those? Yeah, it's our nature cat. They teach me about them. They only bloom in moon time. Oh, wow. Well, my son educated me. Was that on wild crats? Nope. On nature cat. Oh, okay. Nature, wild crats don't teach you about plants. Yeah, I imagine so. But, uh, apparently my son knew something I didn't. There's a life cycle there. Uh, almost anything you want to know about this stinking caterpillar you can find on Wikipedia. Um, and my thanks to Wikipedia for having this information available. So, um, say goodbye to Mr. Annoyance here, because he's about ready to be underfoot. And, sorry, Peter, screw you.